To the bong, everyone. My name is Joe Lyon, and I am the host of this channel, Portuguese Online. So Portuguese Online is a YouTube channel that helps people understand the fundamentals of the language of Portuguese. So why exactly should one learn Portuguese? I mean, it's not like it's a huge language. <laughs> well, actually, it kind of is. The amount of people that speak Portuguese is 240 million which is a lot. There are many countries that use Portuguese, and not just Brazil. Portugal, which is kind of where Portuguese comes from, on Africa, like Angola and Mozambique. There are smaller islands, like in Ibisal, and those island countries, like uh, Capo Verde. There are even places in India that have Portuguese speakers, such as Goa. And so learning Portuguese will allow you to understand and communicate with so many more people of this globe. A second reason is because Portuguese is transferable. Now this basically means once you know Portuguese, it's a lot easier to understand and to learn other languages, specifically of the Romantic family. So languages such as Italian and Latin and French and Spanish, a huge one here in the United States. All of these are a lot easier to learn from the perspective of Portuguese than it is from English. And actually, it's a lot easier to learn them from the perspective of Portuguese than any of the other Romantic languages, such as Spanish, French, and Italian. So if you really want to get a good grasp of the Romantic languages, Portuguese is a great place to start. And the third reason is because it is great for business. If you're an entrepreneur, Portuguese is probably a good place to go. So in the last couple of decades, Brazil has left its third world status and has join many of the other economic powers within the world. And this economic growth is only going to increase because in the next couple of years there's going to be the World Cup in Brazil and there's going to be the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Portuguese is a very good asset to learn. Also, if anyone wants a really good idea, Brazil is one of the largest producers of peanuts and yet Brazil has absolutely no peanut butter. There is something seriously wrong with this and it needs to change. And if you really want a fourth reason, Portuguese is an absolutely beautiful language and many amazing people within the world speak it. So now that you actually know Portuguese is an important language, let's talk about how to learn it. Now there are many ways of learning a language, especially Portuguese. The best way by far is actually going to a Portuguese speaking country such as Brazil or Portugal and, you know, talking to the natives and learning from the natives. However, most people are not capable of doing that, so they go to the second option. Now one option is just communication, just speaking. Now people do can do this with using a CD, or they use a movie or video clips, or they use a YouTube channel. Now this is a very effective way of learning a language. There is another way of learning a language, and that is learning the vocabulary and the grammatical rules behind such a language. Now many people would argue that this is not a very effective way of learning a language. However, this is the way that we're going to use it, and the reason being is because in the end, when you learn a language, you're going to know these rules and vocabulary words anyway, and also you're going to sound a lot better, a lot more fluent, and a lot more native if you use this approach. Also, when you learn it this way, it's going to stick in your head a lot more. It's going to stay there, and it's going to be a lot more useful and a lot more applicable. And it is by this approach that this YouTube channel is going to teach you Portuguese. So before you watch this, you need to have a little bit of an understanding of grammar. You need to know what an adjective is and an adverb, the difference between them. You need to know what a pronoun is, when to use it, when not to. And there are many ways of learning this if you do not know this already. Our favorite way is actually uh, Schoolhouse Rock. You know those educational cartoony jingles that they used to play you in elementary school? In all honesty, if it wasn't for those jingles, I would have had a difficult time learning this language. Understanding these grammatical rules will greatly increase your ability to learn this language. So a little bit about how this YouTube channel is going to work. Each video has a small lesson of uh, the basics and the fundamentals of the Portuguese language. At the end of each episode, we're going to give you a list of vocabulary words. This is not going to be a very large list. It's probably going to be five to ten words. Now, these five to ten words are very important. We want you to learn them at your own pace, however long it takes you to memorize them, but we want them to be ingrained into your head by the time you watch the next video. There are many ways of memorizing these words. I've actually tried the approach of sticking your hand in a, a pot of ice. Uh, it was effective and it worked. Uh, it, it, was, it was just absolutely horrifying. I, I don't recommend it. You can make up your own memorization game. That's always fun. Now you can also try memorization by shocking yourself. I've tried that one too. It wasn't very nice. But one thing we do encourage is using flashcards. Flashcards are absolutely amazing. Simply put the Portuguese word on one side and the English translation on the other. Now a good way to use these flashcards to your own benefit is on day one, or video one, you have a set of flashcards or a set of vocabulary words, usually five to ten. We're going to call this set A. And on day two, you have yet another set of flashcards. We're going to call this set B. Now, a mistake that many people use is that on day one, they learn set A, and then on day two, they learn set B. But what's wrong with that? I mean, that 
you know, that makes sense, doesn't it? The thing is, is that doing it, this approach is that when you get to set D and E and F and H and Z, you're going to forget everything you learned in set A. And so what we recommend is that on day one, you learn set A, and on day two, you relearn set A and newly learn set B. So on day four, it is A, B, C, and D instead of just D alone, and so on and so forth. Another great tip is word association. Now, let me explain. What many people like to do is that they like to have a Portuguese word equal an English word. Now, this can work. For instance, let's have the English word door. They look up the word door in Portuguese and find that it is porta. And what they simply do is they say porta equals door. However, what is a door? A door is just what we say in order for someone to understand what we're saying, that we're talking about an inanimate object made of wood or steel that opens and closes to allow us to enter and exit a room. So if you really, really want to know a word in Portuguese well, instead of associating it with the English translation, associate it with the object itself. Associate it with that inanimate thing. It is the exact same thing we do in English, and we speak English pretty well. Now, with these tips, hopefully your pursuit of learning the Portuguese language will increase. But there are other things that you can do along with these videos. Music, and movies, and also books. Now, in the Portuguese language, these might be a little bit difficult to find. However, now that we have the internet, we have a huge supply of uh, Portuguese material. And many of them you can actually find for free. Also, if you look on YouTube itself, you're going to find many other channels and many other videos that help you learn the language of Portuguese. By all means, use them. Don't let this be the only thing that you watch. Now, a lot of things have been said to help you learn a language, especially Portuguese, but the number one factor in learning a language is really up to you. You're not going to learn Portuguese very well if you simply watch the YouTube videos straight through. That's not really what their purpose is. The purpose of these videos is to help anyone who is trying to teach themselves Portuguese, who's trying to learn Portuguese on their own. They're kind of helping you teach yourself. You're actually going to be doing the majority of the work. So remember, make sure that you understand the material of each lesson before you go on to the next one. And also, take your time. It really doesn't matter how long it takes you to learn this stuff. And that's the beauty of YouTube. You can go at your own pace. You're not pressured by any due date or the speed of a set course. You can even go back to a previous video and relearn some of the lessons. When you watch these videos and how you use them is entirely up to you. So I hope that you're excited about this as I am. It's about to get good. Well, all the boring stuff is out of the way. We hope that you enjoyed this video and we hope that you continue watching and learning the wonderful language of Portuguese. Feel free to watch many of the other videos and uh, also leave some comments in the comment thingy below. Thank you for watching.